is a vampire. Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. With just a few days until Halloween, you would not believe how excited we were to learn that the New York Times best-selling author of the Vampire Kisses series just happened to be in town. One of Ellen Schreiber's latest books is called Once in a Full Moon. It features Celeste Parker and her introduction into the world of werewolves. This is something new for this author. Author Ellen Schreiber is here to tell us all about it. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Hi, how are you? Doing great. I'm so glad you stopped by. Well, thank you so much. Good time of year for you to be in our own backyard. Yes, we love Halloween. that. <laughs> You're so known for your amazing plot lines that surround a little romance and a lot of vampires. This is uh, the, the werewolf is kind of a, a step beyond where you've gone before. Why did you make that decision? Um, well, a lot of readers from the Vampire Kisses series were asking about would there be a character maybe that was a werewolf in it? And I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I just write a whole series about werewolves? So that's how it started. And this is really sort of the laying the foundation for maybe more books in the series yes. to come. So tell us a little bit about Once in a Full Moon. Um, it's about a hot and heroic werewolf and a girl that falls in love with him. And it's about his transformations and having something happen to you that necessarily you don't want and learning to have to deal with it. And how do you deal with it? Hmm. So it's a plot line that's sort of based in the surreal genre, but right. it's, it's something that you're probably going to relate to in yes. a roundabout way. So yeah, teens can relate to it. Sure. Um, just in normal days, what, what you go through in a normal day, but also like the, the paranormal addition. Since I have you here, let me ask you this question. What, what is it, do you think, that makes us so attracted to this genre? And it seems like it's had a real resurgence right. in recent years. Film, fiction, uh, you know, uh, it, across all mediums. Um, well, I think a lot of people feel like an outsider at different times in their lives, and I think vampires always are on the outside looking in, um, having to deal with something that's different than the norm of a human. Um, so I think there's that, and I also think they're sexy. <laughs> there's <laughs> and there's always that. that element that people are attracted to. Yes, you said uh, you're, you're introducing your, 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 uh, <laughs> your werewolf character, and you said he's handsome and dashing, <laughs> and I thought, is there a werewolf in fiction? that isn't somehow <laughs> handsome and dashing? That seems to be kind of a common theme. Right. Well, the old werewolves seem to be very gruesome True. and kind of horrifying. And I wanted to do something when I wrote that was, maybe he got hotter. He got, you know, um, stronger and more powerful than he was by day. Twilight, which of course has been huge right. at the bookstore and at the box office, yeah. has to be a, a huge uplift for authors like you because anything that gets more eyes on this genre of material right. has got to be a good thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I was very lucky that I had sales really good right off um, before the Twilight came out, but then also it just kind of put the spotlight on all of this, this genre of vampires and werewolves. Do vampires and werewolves fall on uh, one end of the spectrum of the other, Texas Rangers or St. Louis Cardinals? Is that? Play um, I think the Cardinals. Okay, good. That's what I <laughs> Go Cardinals. We'll take everybody on our team that we can get. <laughs> Ellen, thank you very much. So thank nice to you. meet you. And me you too. can meet Ellen, too, at a teen event in the Macy's Juniors Department at West County Center. She'll be uh, talking about her book, Once in a Full Moon. Activities begin at 6 p.m. This is tonight, right? Yes. 6 p.m. tonight. And there's a presentation from Ellen at 7 p.m. Next time you're in town, stop back by. Oh, absolutely. Thank you Ms. so much for Ms. having Ms. me. This New York Times bestseller <laughs> herself. Kent, Virginia, over to you. Well, it's just Virginia. Oh, Virginia, I'm sorry. It's Virginia, and we're about to learn how to slime the Rangers. I'm very excited about this. You know, earlier in the show, we melted some witch mm -hmm. heads, and we did the dry ice thing. That's what you see going on right here. Well, Kate Barton from Mad Science of Science, of Science Center, is, or Science of St. Louis, is going to show us how to make some Halloween slime, or Ranger slime. Okay, how do we do this? <laughs> All right, well, if we want to get them really good. Uh, slime is something we at Mad Science are experts in making it. And actually, you can make something similar at home. If you go to the grocery store, you get clear glue, uh, a few drops of paint, and something called borax, which is sodium boyd. Okay. Uh, but here, I have the special goo ready for us. Uh, this is a vat of uh, polyvinyl alcohol. It's okay. liquid plastic. And I want you to go ahead, Virginia, pick your color, orange and black, since it's Halloween themed. Okay. All right, Virginia. And you can either use a stick or just go in with your hands and mix it up. Oh, the hands. Mix Hello. it up for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't get yada yada. All right. So we're stirring in the color. We're going to have a nice big vat of black slime. Now we're going to add something called sodium tetraborate. Okay. And this is going to make it really gooey. It's going to react with our liquid plastic to have a nice gooey feel. So as soon as I add it in, start mixing it up and pull it up. And we should have some pretty good slime. Ready? Okay. All right. 
Now, what do you do with this once you get it? Can you put this on people? Uh, <laughs> if you want to. Now, uh, if you have little ones or pets, this isn't good for them uh, if they accidentally ingest it. Uh, but we make it all the time at our Mad Science Whoa. birthday parties. And if you put it in the refrigerator when you're not playing with it, it should be good for about two weeks. Really? Does it stink? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't stink, but it's not good for white carpet, I hear. Oh, yeah. I would imagine <laughs> not. And you can do any color? Yeah, you can do any color, any color paint. I love this. So people can get some great ideas, obviously, for their own parties, but you guys throw parties yourselves. Yes, we throw parties all year round. Uh, we're just getting done with a lot of our Halloween parties, but coming up we have our winter parties. And uh, you can go on our website, madscience.org, and awesome. find all that information. What a fun party. I love this. But do you think it'd be rude if I threw this in a Rangers fan face today? I won't tell if you do. <laughs> She gave me permission. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, much. Well, we posted a link to Mad Science of St. Louis's website on our website, greatdaystlouis.com. Now, our deal divas, I'm just getting my hand on this line. Our deal divas are working on Halloween this week for you. There are a couple of good deals at Toys R Us. Fun size packages of candy right now are just $1.99, and you can save even more if you have manufacturer coupons. Costumes right now at Toys R Us, 40% off. And Toys R Us is having Jeffrey's Halloween Parade on Saturday. Show up with the kiddos in costume between noon and 3, and you will walk away with some ghoulish goodies. And you can always find more great deals in the Deal Divas section of GreatDaySt.Louis.com. Now, next on Great Day St. Louis, from cleaning, I obviously need that, to snacking. We're going to show you, all of you busy moms, a few easy ways to get more done and reduce your stress level. And then we're going to take a little drive in the Chevy Traverse. This roomy crossover comes with all the bells and whistles you need when you're on the go. But first, it's time for another great day giveaway, Pizza Pizza. We're giving away a $25 gift card to Little Caesars Pizza every day this week, courtesy of Little Caesars. Just register online at greatdaystlouis.com and the deadline to enter, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Good luck.